A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a shocking turn of events, the infamous case of Lyle and Eric Menendez, who were sentenced to life imprisonment for the 1989 murder of their parents, is once again capturing public attention. This renewed interest is largely fueled by the recent Netflix series, Monsters, The Lyle and Eric Menendez Story, which has sparked a wave of discussions and calls for a re-evaluation of the brothers' convictions. The series, created by Ryan Murphy, has been met with mixed reactions, particularly from Eric Menendez, who has labeled it as dishonest and disheartening slander. However, it has undeniably reignited conversations surrounding the circumstances of the murders and the brothers' claims of severe abuse at the hands of their father, Jose Menendez. Los Angeles District Attorney George Gaskin has announced that his office is officially reviewing the case, acknowledging the impact of the Netflix series and the new evidence that has come to light. This includes a letter written by Eric Menendez when he was just 17, detailing the sexual abuse he and his brother allegedly suffered from their father. Gaskin stated, We have a moral and ethical obligation to review what is being presented to us, indicating that the allegations of abuse will be a significant focus of the review. The Menendez brothers were convicted of killing their parents, Jose and Kitty Menendez, in their Beverly Hills home in August 1989. The case was one of the first to gain massive national attention, with the trial being broadcast daily and captivating audiences across the country. Prosecutors painted the brothers as calculating and greedy, motivated by a desire for their parents' wealth, which was estimated at around $14 million. In contrast, the defense argued that the brothers acted out of fear and desperation after years of sexual abuse. The public sentiment towards the Menendez brothers has shifted over the years, with many now questioning whether their harsh sentences were justified. Among those advocating for a re-evaluation of the case is Kim Kardashian, who has expressed her belief that the brothers were robbed of their childhoods and deserve a second chance. In an essay for NBC News, Kardashian stated, The killings are not excusable, nor is their behavior before, during, or after the crime. But she emphasized the importance of understanding the context of their actions. As interest in the case continues to grow, the Menendez brothers' legal team has formally requested that Gaskin recommend a re-sentencing, which could potentially lead to their release. The upcoming court hearing on November 29th marks a significant moment in the decades-long saga, as it will allow for a thorough examination of the new evidence and claims of abuse. The Netflix series has not only reignited public interest but also prompted discussions about the broader implications of abuse and trauma. As one of the brothers' lawyers, Mark Gegeros, noted, We've got a much more robust and evolved understanding of abuse today than we did at the time of the original trial. In addition to the Netflix drama, another docu-series titled, The Menendez Brothers, is set to premiere soon, promising to provide a platform for the brothers to share their side of the story. This influx of media attention may prove pivotal in shaping public perception and influencing the legal proceedings surrounding the Menendez brothers. As the case continues to unfold, many are left wondering whether justice will be served or if the brothers will remain behind bars for the rest of their lives. The upcoming hearing is sure to be a focal point for both supporters and detractors of the Menendez brothers, as the debate over their guilt or innocence rages on. With new evidence and shifting public sentiment, the saga of Lyle and Eric Menendez may be far from over, and the question of whether they will receive a fair re-evaluation of their case looms large on the horizon. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.